good morning everyone and welcome to the science sector of dynamic study so today in this sector we are going to learn two important topics of chemistry that is laws of chemical combination and dalton's atomic theory so this video is divided into two parts first for the chemical combination laws and second for the dalton's atomic theory so let's go for the first part that is of chemical combination so basically laws of chemical combination describe the basic principles obeyed by the interacting atoms and molecules so in other words we can say that laws of chemical combination is a set of two rules that describe how the chemical reaction will go or will take place between two atoms and molecules these these laws also predicts the future of the chemical reaction that how the substance will look like or the substance the composition of substance also so basically the laws of chemical combination is of two types first is law of conservation of mass and second is law of constant proportion so let's go the go for the first law that is law of conservation of mass so law of conservation of mass states that the mass of the reactant is always equal to the mass of the product that is mass is neither be created or not destroyed in a chemical reaction for example if we take two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen then their mass will always equal to the one atom of water that is h2o so this says that when whenever there is a chemical reaction the reactant will the, the mass of the reactant will always equal will always equal to the mass of the product so this is the law of conservation of mass and this law was given by antony elwesser in 1789 and you will be glad to know that he is the only man who is known as the father of the modern chemistry so let's go for the second law that is the law of constant proportion so law of constant proportion says that in a chemical substance the elements are always in a definite proportion that is if you take a chemical substance from whenever part whichever part of the world their element their their composition will always be equal to the main or the basic chemical substance for example in a water the composition of hydrogen element uh, to the composition of oxygen is always 